uh, another important question many women ask is uh, in what position to sleep okay the sleeping positions we have demonstrated in a cd which contains the exercises also but i can just tell you in the first 3 months you can lie down in any position you want you can even lie down in the prone position and after 3 months don't lie down in the prone position prone position is face down like this and after the 5th month don't lie down completely on the dorsal position dorsal position is lying on your back fully facing the ceiling after the 5th month what happens the enlarged uterus can press upon the aorta and reduce the blood supply to the lower part of the body which also contains the uterus so once the uterus blood supply is reduced the baby blood supply also will be reduced for this purpose we ask you not to lie down continuously for a long time in the dorsal position or the back position but lying down for a few minutes 10 15 minutes or 20 minutes doesn't do any harm in fact some people can sleep only in the dorsal position comfortably for these people what they can do they can keep a pillow behind the back on one side make it like a wedge and that will give you around 15 degrees of tilt this 15 degrees of tilt will uh, take away the harmful effects of lying down on the um, dorsal position at the same time you have the comfort of lying down with your face up and when you are lying down always remember sit support your hands turn to your sides and lie down on the sides okay don't lie down if you are sitting don't lie down like this okay turn to your sides support with your hands and then lie down these positions are demonstrated in the other cd and also in the later months of pregnancy when your tummy is big when you lie down on your sides it may be a little dragging if you are lying down on the left side this side it may be pulling so to prevent that what you can do you can keep a pillow under the tummy whichever side you are lying down and also between the legs it may be difficult to approximate the legs because of, because of the enlarged tummy so you can keep a pillow and then keep it uh, separated use as many pillows as you want and some people develop reflex esophagitis that is they keep uh, burping after eating what happens the food contents with the gastric juice which contains hydrochloric acid keeps coming up and that produces a lot of irritation this can be avoided by lying down in the reclining position you keep five six pillows and then lie down like as you are lying in an easy chair and don't lie down completely flat dear friends now let's see about some myths and facts about pregnancy the commonest myth is that when they lie down and when they have to turn they always have to get up and then turn otherwise the baby's umbilical cord will go around the neck this is a wrong concept see the umbilical cord going around the baby happens because of the baby's movements even if you don't do anything just lie down if the baby forms a loop and then puts its head into it it's going to happen without your control so you really don't have to get up and then turn and even if you do that it is not going to prevent it so while lying down if you want to turn you can turn just like that you don't have to get up if you keep on getting up in the midnight uh, too many times you will not be able to sleep it will be like you are doing an exercise in the night okay then the other myth is that iron tablets produce black babies black grapes uh, produce black babies and all that all this is not true the color of the baby is determined genetically it takes after the father mother grandfather grandmother so it is something hereditary it is determined by your genes so you don't have to avoid iron tablets or black grapes to uh, in the fear of uh, get the baby becoming black in color you can take them 
the other myth is the opposite like if you take saffron the baby will become pink in color that is again a myth i think the reason for the myth is that the saffron was originally from kashmir so people there are very fair that is because of their environment and genetics okay down south we are exposed to so much of sun so most of us are black even if you take saffron the baby is not going to be fairer than you okay the fairness depends upon again the genes and not on saffron or any other material but there is no harm in taking a saffron a good quality saffron one or two threads if you want you can take it is only a flavoring agent it neither does good nor does it do any harm then the other myth is like if the baby has lot of hair you get epigastric pain that is also not true epigastric pain can occur to anybody that is because of the increased acidity during pregnancy and one more myth that is um, uh, said is like if the baby is a boy the pregnancy will be prolonged and if the baby is a uh, girl it is earlier that is also not true there is absolutely no way of finding out from the look of the mother or the size of the abdomen or the date of delivery uh, whether it is going to be a boy or a girl now let's see some of the common disturbances or complaints that happen during pregnancy this is a very important aspect because many of the times people don't know that these are normal and then they get worried but even though they are normal the people around should understand that the person who is suffering from it actually suffers if she says she has a pain she does have a pain and suffers from it if she has a little irritation it is definitely there is an irritation and she is not acting or exaggerating the actual suffering is there but then during pregnancy this sort of little sufferings are quite common they don't need any treatment by tablets or injections there are other methods which can be used to treat them so the people around should not say the doctor said everything is normal then why are you complaining like that you should understand and then you should pacify the pregnant mother the other thing that you should remember is even though these complaints are common the line between the normal and abnormal are thin certain situations you may be doubtful whether it is really normal or abnormal if you have any doubts please call your doctor or go in person visit the doctor and find out whether it is normal or abnormal and sometimes the doctor may not be able to tell you over the phone whether it is normal or abnormal unless you present yourself in person let's see the common disturbances or the general disturbances that happens during pregnancy the commonest one is tiredness the woman feels extremely tired as if somebody has beaten her she will be feeling very tired and wants to sleep all the time in the early months of pregnancy increased sleepiness is very common whereas in the later months of pregnancy sleeplessness is more common and this tiredness we really cannot do anything like we cannot give medicines and boost up her energy like that this is part and parcel of normal pregnancy especially in the first 3 months till about 12 to 14 weeks many of them will feel giddy like they cannot stand for more than 5 to 10 minutes especially in a crowded place where it is sweating a lot so when you are standing for a bus or doing some cooking don't stand still for a long time for more than 5 minutes you can walk you can do take some steps you can do on the spot walking all these things will help you to prevent from fainting when you stand for a long time for more than 5 minutes the tendency to faint is more that is mainly because because of the hormonal changes that happen during the pregnancy the blood gets pooled in the lower limbs when you do walking or on the spot walking then the blood gets pumped back by the muscles to the heart but when you don't move if you stand still the muscle does not pump the blood back into the heart and most of the blood gets pooled in the lower limbs and the supply to the brain and the heart becomes less and you faint this fainting is uh, harmless but if you are standing in a place which is very uh, dangerous 
say you are planting is standing in the middle of the road or near uh, stove that is a dangerous thing so whenever you feel like fainting whether it is a road or anything you should call for help and just sit down and have something to drink you will be fine and most of these patients do have a lowering of the bp you should remember that the persons um, in the first 3 months of pregnancy will have a low bp this is actually a good thing most of these women who develop low bp around 90 60 around this time that is the third month usually do not develop a high bp in the later months of pregnancy so when the woman has a low bp we are quite happy oh this probably this woman will not have a uh, high bp later like that but the disadvantage with the low bp is the woman may faint easily if she sweats a lot or if she doesn't drink enough fluid because if because of the vomiting the woman may not be able to take adequate fluids and that leads to a much more lower bp which makes her faint these women should always have some a little salted drinks with them and whenever they feel like fainting they should drink a little of the salted drink and then sit down wherever they are and call for help this symptom will clear in about a minute or two so you really don't have to worry the other common symptoms that happen during pregnancy in the first 3 months is vomiting 